Hey everybody, this is Game Freak 10124, and several months later I can finally say welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon XD. And also Merry Christmas, because you guys won't see this until then. That day. <clears throat> so I'll screen real quickly here, I just put my duplicate team from my Emerald Let's Play um, in my party, and now I'm going to do the first round of War Coliseum. Just the first round, because that's required to do one side quest in post game. Sea <clears throat> incense, soft sand, poison bar, put claw, lax incense, black belt. Uh, my comments are a little bit louder than usual, having to talk quiet because of my current situation, so hopefully you guys can hear me while I'm up over the music. Like for a little comment, we can plot we can fire and flying, and then it's a slow going jinx, and the auto bar all psychic types, and then how do you So yeah. My thing is the freaking jinx. I'm gonna start with these two and hope the freaking jinx is and they'll lead off. Another gross is definitely something to bring up in the rear. Yeah, Swampert, it can do some damage to some things, but it's probably not it's probably best I don't bring it in. Watch him lead off of that stupid jinx. Of course he does. How much can keep the jinx is faster? I'm probably screwed because of that stupid jinx. The slow board doesn't help either though. 
the Jinx puts a damper on my freaking Hierocross into the slow roll, puts a damper on me with the freaking bulk, and I have much super effective against it. Nope, didn't survive. Stupid Jinx. I did not expect still going to one shot. Oh, so slow is a freaking annoyer. You can't call Pokemon in this college, you know. Best little logo goes for Yana Skarmory. Here's two pieces of good news. Metaros can take these things, and Skarmory should be able to speed and knock out the Parasite. No effects of is probably not going to Skarmory out. Yes, I woke up sweet. Sucks and you can look. Oh, I know what this is. This is an own temple teeter dance team. This is an own temple teeter dance team. Good news is, I believe, you, like Spinda, I don't know what his speed is, but Smeargle's the only fast Pokemon on the team. <laughs> Hope this works. I'm gonna bring in Metacross and Heracross and hopefully be able to power through these things. And then. I guess have that one is something to start back up. Well, a. 
Skarmory and Swampert have the same exact speed. Mm. 118 attack. Ugh. I don't know, I'm the last one. Only thing is that freaking character. If it has any sort of potential becoming an issue. I hope I don't regret not having Skarmory on me. I think I'm safe to say I'm fine not bringing in Vile Plume. But yeah, I know looking at this team, he's a freaking teeter dance own tempo team. Thankfully, this is going to focus that, so. Hopefully, Heracross outspeeds the Smeargle. Hopefully, Metagross does, because I'm wanting to have Heracross brick break and hopefully one shot them like a ton. Of course, that thing is the fastest one on the field, stupid Smeargle! Please, break through the freaking confusion. Oh, God. Good. At least one shot the like a ton. Of course not. Good. Oh come on, it survived. That's a load of ball. At least I freaking foil it belly your own. <sighs> now I wish I freaking had Metagross. Or I mean Skarmory. Like it's switching to do the earthquake and knock them both out and get confusion off the line. Ugh. As long as I don't hurt myself, of course. The best thing to do is break break the like a tongue. As long as I don't hurt myself, that way I'll knock it out before I can do anything. Please break through again. Thank you. Get the lucky tongue out. Now I need Metagross to do the freaking same so that they can't do Zap Cannon or whatever. Good. I need to so blessed with the RNG. One thing to concern. That I know the final person has is my lot. Come on, please break through or snap out of the confusion. Yes, please, please land the hit, please land the hit, please land the hit, thank you. Just barely survived, but that's alright. Boy, am I glad I did. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Stupid focus ban! That's a load of bullcrap. Stupid focus ban. Survive with the focus band twice in a row. That's total bullcrap. This 
is not an intimidate. This is a baton pass team. This has to be a baton pass team. I just hate that Stantler as a thing with the freaking intimidate when freaking four of my six Pokemon are physically offensive. And on top of that, there's the Raichu that I want to Earthquake, but there's three flying types. And then the Grumpig, which can already decently tank physical attacks. I do not like this team. And on, on top of that, I have no freaking electric attacks for the freaking flying types. My only super effect to pin on them is Ice Beam off of Spawner, and that's it. And Togeticus, oh, well, Butterfree's not really concern, I guess. I don't know. I don't like this team at all. I do not like this team at all. It's not too much packing Giga Drain. <sighs> I want this thing for the freaking Raichu, but for the and then the Sandler itself before the five Pokemon <sighs> and destroy it easily. I do have Protect on that one. I think I'm gonna wanna start off with these two and self-destruct. Only thing is, that's gonna be there just for fodder. It can't do much to anything on the team. It gets hit with a super effective move off probably everything because of the Raichu and the Stantler, maybe. <sighs> oh, this sucks. I want to lead up with self-destruct, but I only have one protector, and it's this thing. Oh, wait a minute. I can fly up high with this one to avoid the damage. Uh, only thing is, at least the Zatu and Raichu, and probably the Grumpig, outspeed this one. I mean, I've got to lead off with self-destruct. You freaking make it easy work of some of the hopefully easy work of some of this team. Ugh, I do not like this. I have to bring in Swapper, obviously. I'm thinking better growth, because yeah, again, the other two can't do that much. I mean, yes, there's Mega Horn for the frickin' Grump Pig and Brick Prick for the Stantler, but this thing gets scared by too many of the frickin' flying types. Ooh, I do not like this team. I do not like this team, and I don't like the fact that the final person has my lack of if I can even beat this. Ugh, let's see how this goes. I'm so concerned for this one. I'm gonna let this play out because I like the music. Oh wait, you might have an encore to and yep, the freaking Intimidate. And here's the worst part though. That Raichu is going to outspeed and go for an electric attack on Skarmory when I'm wanting to freaking self-destruct, and I don't want to have to bring in another Pokemon to take the self-destruct hit. Damn that Raichu. And it's gonna go for an electric attack and one shot Skarmory. There's no way I outspeed it. I don't want this thing taking the hit and I, the thunder electric attack, and I don't want this thing freaking taking the uh, self destruct. So, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. Stupid Raichu being a thing. And the off chance it doesn't go for an attack, I'll fly. Stupid Raichu. I really hope the Stantler freaking goes for an offensive move on Torval. I swear if that flinches, I swear if that freaking flinches. Can you not flinch when that Raichu's in a freaking use rope tackle again? Stupid piece of crap, Stanler getting the flinch. Pfft. 
thank you for going for that one. That helps a little bit. I was so hoping he would double team it. That would have been so ideal. Can that stupid thing stop getting the flinches? Seriously. Stupid bull crap. I'm taking the chance on the double protect. Of course I fail. I hate this douchebag. Stupid friggin' stop flinch bull crap. Stupid RNG. I crit the Snantler. Uh, and then the Grunt Pig. I hate that Snatler. Then it gets a critical hit on me. Then this is without flinch, I'm in frickin' torrent range. Stupid deer. Tell get it. Stupid ground peg out speeding. So get it down my concern. The fact that it's two against one is my concern. Oh, I hate it. I couldn't get the frickin' earthquake off because of the stupid flinch. That screwed me hard. What is it Togeta gonna do? Is he gonna go for flatter? Probably not. Seriously? It goes for the frickin' parachute. You gotta be kidding me. Seriously goes for the pair of fuse and flinch crap. I don't know what the Toad Geddick is going to use. Of course it has Fire Punch. I need you to break through and get rid of the Grump Pig. Please. Thank you. I can potentially still win this. Body slam is its only offensive move. Uh. Please keep breaking through. Please keep breaking through. Please keep breaking through. Please keep breaking through. Critical hit or special D drop. Special D drop won't even matter that much. Here's the worst thing though, that thing might be hacking some sort of recovery move. Please snap out of it. Please snap out of it. Please snap out of it. Please break through. And now I'm screwed. Bye Sam's gonna finish it off. And I could have won if it weren't for that stupid one frickin' flinch the Stanler got. I'm not gonna keep thinking you guys sit through this. I'm gonna get through winning this freaking battle, or at least in a situation where I know I can win. And unfortunately, it's gonna have to be off screen, so I don't keep freaking recording. Stupid bullcrap one flinch that ultimately screwed me over. Anyway, guys, I'll see you for the next video. Bye.